Well, this time of year, many people are spending a lot more time indoors. With windows and doors shut tight, you may be putting your family at risk for radon poisoning. Now, radon is responsible for 21,000 lung cancer deaths each year. Children's organs are still maturing, making them potentially more vulnerable to the damaging effects of radiation from radon. It is an odorless, colorless gas, and it has no taste, so short of testing specifically for it, there's no way to know whether or not there's an issue. Radon comes from the breakdown of uranium in rocks and soil. It's in the air we breathe, but it becomes unsafe when the gases are trapped indoors. There's the potential to develop lung cancer. So the thing about radon is you can have high levels in your house, your next door neighbor can have low levels. Testing helps you know if you have radon in your home. Godwin says the family is safe, but there are steps to take if a reading is higher. A vent that run with a fan that runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and just pulls a little bit of that stagnant, low-lying air from the bottom of the foundation and then just delivers it outside the house.